to refuse. Mm-hmm. Now, if if the dispatcher refuses it, that's not on us. If she looks at it and says it ain't gonna work, we don't get in trouble. And I got to do it. I said, hey, that load ain't, ain't long enough. And she's like, okay, I'll get it fixed. She tells the planner, hey, get him something better. I've been on the phone when she did it. And while I was on the phone with her, went from a 500-mile load to a 1,400-mile load. But you got to get a working relationship with your DM. Exactly. You can't just go in and expect they're going to hand it to you. Mm-hmm. Their job is their, their job is to handle 50 drivers, not just you. But if you make yourself, like you said, valuable to the company and valuable to her, because just like us, she gets a bonus. If I get a big bonus, that's helping her. And I get bonuses every month. I get an extra five to 700 a month just because I do that many miles because I'm on time. I have no accidents. I have no reports. I have no damages. So for the four uh, months, yeah, in a lo- so for the four months that you've been rocking out with, uh, with Hirschbach, you, 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 you honestly haven't had no issues. You, you pretty much been getting your money, uh, mouth, your money miles in home time with, well, Hirschbach, did they do do, <clears throat> Hirsch, do Hirschbach have any issues getting you down here to Florida? Nope. Uh, when they bought, they would they already had freight coming to Florida. Their issue was getting back out at a reasonable rate. Well, Lesser's had Tropicana and Florida's Natural, so we had orange juice out the butt. So I'm ne- I, I've, I've been as much as two days early for home time. And you know what most carriers would tell us? Okay, you need to be back two days early. No, I need to keep running then. Oh, we can't do that. First box like, hey, uh, call us back on Monday when you're supposed to come out. Have a nice week. I've had up to nine days. I've had up to, I asked for five days. I've had up to eight days off. Now, yeah, I'm taking a, a hit when it comes to yeah. the paycheck. Yeah, eight but days. But they make up. But I've had eight days off without them bitching and without them calling me, hey, can you come back early? Mm-hmm. Like I said, the boss man is a driver. He was a driver before he owned her spot. So... um. And it's literally, I'll go in on a Wednesday. I always go in on Wednesday. Because I go to football, I go to Florida State, I'm a Florida State football fan. And Saturday morning, I'm headed to Tallahassee. By Friday night, before I'm supposed to come back, if my dispatcher's in on that Friday, I've got a load. I already know what I'm doing. I already know where I'm going. If I don't like it, I call her. And it's kind of it's it's kind of cool that you get that that you get that rapport with your with your DM man because with 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 that said you know that DM knows that you're a runner that DM is going to make sure that you're happy with what the, with the loads that you get and they're going to keep you happy by saying hey we're gonna we're gonna make sure that you're you you're gonna know what your next load is just let us know. When is you going to get to your delivery? And then we'll let you know when the next pickup will be. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I've got extra time on this load. That's why I'm able to handle this mechanical issue. Mm-hmm. I don't deliver in, in uh, Minoka until Wednesday. So this is giving me time to get the truck looked over, to relax for a day, get my laundry done. Um, and heck, they might even tell me, Hey, just drop it at the yard. Here's another load. You know, that's, that's what it's I was going to do today. That, that's uh, I, w- I was going to take the day off. I was going to chill. I was going to relax. <laughs> my, my fleet manager, <laughs> hit me up. My, my fleet manager hit me up like, yo, Hey, uh, the, the load that, that, that delivers on Wednesday. I'm like, yeah, what's up? No, I need you to drop that tomorrow. Take it now. 
I was like, whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, wait, what? Yeah, yeah, drop, drop, drop yeah. that load tomorrow. I'm like, bro, I'm trying to take the day off, my G. <laughs> but it, it's, it's all it's good. But that's how that's how my that's how my fleet manager is, man. He made sure that uh, he he made sure that we good, you know, and, and that's what I appreciate he, about him. He's out there to handle business just like you are. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'll, I'll let you know right now. I just looked, and the four months it's been exactly four months today since I. Step foot in a hearse box truck. Now I've had four weeks off every month. Mm. I've made almost twenty six thousand dollars. Wow, that ain't bad. Bro. Yeah, so I'm now that now I will say this: that is including my bonuses. So if you take out my bonuses, taking into account, I've basically had a month off mm-hmm. in these four months. I've made about twenty three and a half thousand dollars. Mm. And four and just under four months total driving time. That's like I said, when, when I deliver in Minoka, if they make me deliver, if they make me deliver, it'll be twenty five hundred miles come Wednesday morning. I still have Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to get more miles. I could have a thirty seven hundred mile week. Because the way our schedule worked out, my schedule usually works out. I get a eighteen hundred plus dollar a week before tax. Then I get about a fifteen hundred dollar before tax week. I, I <laughs> right now I'm sitting at sixty eighteen thousand. What am I at right now? Come on now, come on now. My computer worked out. <laughs> you try to figure it. Trying to figure it out on the side. Uh, no, I'm sitting here. I got the truck with eighteen thousand. Mm-hmm. I'm now at sixty-two thousand. Going that bad boy, bro. I put forty-four thousand miles on a truck in four months. So, so you was actually pissed off with Lessers after what they I, have done. I was. I was I, but I was pissed off with the lessers with the way they did it. But when but you I, got over there, I, I've not time. had. It's been money. <laughs> it's literally. I mean, I come out of the road. I come out of the house. My first load out of the house. Now, yes, I live in North Florida. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to deadhead down to Central because that's where all of our freight is. It's Central Florida near Tampa, Orlando. That's a 150-mile deadhead. I'm paid for my deadhead. When I came out, um, when I came out the first of this month, I see. Uh, I can't even remember. I've been on the road so much. I came out on the fifth, picked up a load out of uh, out of Tropicana. I think it was Tropicana. I went all the way to Minneapolis. Mm. I think I delivered that load. Picked up Monday, delivered that load Wednesday night in Minneapolis. Oh no, uh, Wednesday morning. Picked up a load Wednesday morning. Took that all the way to Denver. That was my week. In four and a half days, technically in four and a half days, I did 2,472 miles. And you did way coming off on time. Twenty four. You did way over the 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 guarantee. The minimum, yeah. I like I said in the four months, I can go back. Uh, our uh, we use a uh, GeoTab, which is a uh, tablet based. Mm-hmm. We use a Transflow system. We have an app on our phones. I can go back to my very first paycheck and look all the way through. And from my memory, I can remember one time actually getting that minimum every other time after, well, minimum. and i've made i've made upwards after tax not including bonus i've made as much as sixteen hundred seventeen hundred dollars after tax man that's that's what's up man at least you at least you coming on here 
saying, you know, you know, giving and this is all from your experience, you know. Not everybody is gonna, mm-hmm. you know, experience uh, <laughs> what you what you got going on, but from but from your experience with with Hirschbach thus far, it, it has been a good one. And with that said, would would you like to you um do you get some type of referral bonus if if you refer drivers uh, to there? We 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 get a referral bonus. It's twelve hundred bucks. It's paid out on their first load. So they go through. I, I'll tell you the whole situation. First box now has a driver training. So they will train you to get your license. I, let's put it this way. I like it so much I became a trainer. I am a driver trainer. I'm an on-the-road trainer. Mm-hmm. Okay? We have a driver training program. Now, if I, if I recruit somebody to that, I don't get a bonus. I don't care. Our driver program, training program, is about five weeks long. You're put up in a really nice hotel in Dubuque, Iowa. Mm-hmm. Um, your meals are two of your meals are covered you get breakfast in the hotel um, you go on the road with this trainer for four weeks unless now, it takes long four to six weeks now hurt now you if i recruit now if, wait 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 now would you wait, wait you saying that hirschbach would would help people get their cdls for people that don't have their cdls that's what you're saying they they started a program near September of last year. So we've actually just passed our one year mark. Mm-hmm. And I talked to the guy who runs it. I actually talked to the guy who runs this program. Um, he came into the company a few years ago and noticed, hey, we're getting a bunch of guys with little experience that are having to be put through our whole system all over again, having to go through training. So he's like, okay. If we take them from the word go, get them their license, and it's a four week, four week, four week course, they, they, they fly you to Dubuque. They don't put you in a Greyhound, and we've got to get you somewhere. They're going to fly your butt there. They fly you to Dubuque. You go through four weeks. You get tested in Dubuque. Mm-hmm. They fly you back home. You have a paper that is valid in any DMV in the country. It's a completion paper, just like you get when you when you got out of Roadmaster. Mm-hmm. You get your new license done. You give up a call to a lady in training. She gets the trainer to you, and for the next four to six weeks, that trainer's job is to make you road ready, make you ready for the job. To get you above the basic minimum to get your license. To get you trained on our system. How to respect customers. How to react with, how to respond to a customer. That's our job. Now, what I'm about to say, most people aren't going to like, and that's our pay scale. There is no pay scale. Wait. What I mean by there is no. Okay. Everybody. Re- the reason they they do this to me, I don't know their full reasoning, but to me, they do this realizing that each driver is different. You could have twenty five years experience, but if you ain't gonna drive but three hundred miles a day because you just feel like retiring soon, why should we pay you fifty five cents a mile? If, if you ain't going to make us the money back in the long run, regardless of experience, you come to her spot, whether it's day one, don't know your butt from a hole in the ground, from day one when you're handed a truck, 50 cents a mile. Whether you've got no, whether you have a minimum of six months experience, whether you went through our course as a new hire driver that needs a CDL, or like me, if, if I had come over from anybody else but lesser, I'd have made 50 cents a mile. Now you get a pay raise every six months. You top out it right now, you top out at about 50, 
56 cents in my aisle. All right. That's what's up, man. And this and this for uh, this this regardless of uh, regardless of your experience. Mm-hmm. Regardless of experience, um, you come over, you get your CDL through us, you go through our training, they put you in a seat, 50 cents a mile. You got 35 years like my dad does, 50 cents a mile. Woo! Now, see, stop, freeze. I, 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 <laughs> I knew know, it was going to happen. I, I don't know about that 50 cent a mile, bro, being that. Uh, being that thirty plus years out here, I, I don't know if you, I don't know if your dad is gonna is gonna is gonna ride. No, nah, my dad. No, no, nah. nah, my dad. My dad percentage on cars hauling brand new Toyotas and Lexus. That's that's he what's ain't up, man. I, I can't. I, you know, I I just feel that you know coming in, you know, as a new driver, you know, less than you know, less than a you know, less than a year, maybe two. You know, 50 cent a mile is cool and everything. But, you know, I know old school drivers that that put in work for like 20, you know, 20 plus years, 20, 30 plus years. And, yeah, you know, they coming in, you know, they coming in, you know, with all this all this trucking knowledge and only and and only starting them at 45 cent a mile. You know, the one driver that I'm talking about. You know, he's, you know, he's been in the industry for like 40 years or so, but he enjoys driving. So that's why he didn't care how much, you know, he was getting sent per mile. You know, he's a retired veteran. Yeah. You know, he was still, you know, he was a retired veteran. He's getting his, you know, his money from, you know, from that. He's getting his money from Social Security, so he's he's good on the money front. You know, he was just he, he, he was this, just dri- this, is, this is his toy money, this right? Is his fun money, right? But for but for people that don't have that backup money, with thirty oh, plus yeah. years, with thirty plus years coming in at forty forty five cent a mile, no, bro, that's I, I feel well, that's yeah, a slap it's, in it's, the face. I mean. Here's how bad it is. I, I, I actually, on occasion, I'll get bored, which you know how it is out here on the road. You sit waiting on customers, and stuff. I don't know if you wait on a lot of customers because I haul refrigerator. That's all we do is refrigerate. Nah, we nah, we, we LTL over here, bro. Oh yeah, we, you, you we, guys we do we do multiple stops, get a backhaul, and do it all over again. But like, I, I got bored few months ago before I came to her spot and just for the hell of it I called a few of my former carriers Mm -hmm. and I called some other carriers with my experience with 11 years I got offered uh, 38 cents a mile I got offered 38 I got offered 42 Mm -hmm. and this was to haul cross country this was to do long runs they were like well if you do the math, you actually make out pretty good. No. No, I don't. No, you, you do. Don't. You Exactly. I said, I said, okay. I called Big Blue. I called Warner. I used to work for them. Mm-hmm. And I said, I, got a, I just told him, I got 11 years experience. Oh, we top out after 10 years at 49 cents a mile. Wow. My dad, my dad got an email one time from Warner asking him to come work. He called him up. 30, this is about, about five or six years ago. 30 years experience hauling custom, hauling on a car hauler. So 30 years specialized experience. 37 cents a mile. What? Yeah. They wanted my dad to start where I was at after six years. I was working for a carrier making 30... 39 cents a mile. They, they offered him 39 cents a mile. And they said, well, if you lived in a different part, we could pay you more. A lot of carriers now are getting region and state or, or region specific when it comes to pay. Yeah, I talked I to, them. I I said, talk okay, to what, a few. What's the best place to work? I said, what's the best place to live? Texas. I said, Texas or what, anywhere else? Texas or if you, if you lived up near like Ohio, Midwest. I'm like, okay, what would I get up there? Oh, we can't tell you that. What? 
Who who well, is this you talking had to? Him, buddy. Who who's this you talking this, to that this couldn't was, tell uh, you that? Uh, it was uh, Raw Rail. The people that can't spell their name correctly. Ra- okay, let me, let me let me write this down because I I did have made a call to Rail about I want to say about a year ago, maybe about a year two. What was this? Twenty twenty one. I say I think I called Rail back in twenty nineteen. Nineteen. I want to say yeah. I, I gotta I gotta it go is, back. I, and, I, I gotta go back and check it, but. You you saying you saying he rail? Said he would make more. You you saying rail, rail wanted to pay me? Uh-huh. Wanted to pay me the, earlier this year. Wanted to pay me, I think. And they also wanted. They didn't want to put me on their flatbed division because I lived in Northeast Florida. Mm-hmm. They wanted to put me in their dry van division. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to do dry van anymore. Uh, I think they offered me like forty two cents a mile. Wow! And that at and, the time, at and, the time. I was at Lester's making fifty two. Okay, so that was so. That's that was so this that's, year. So that's you being down in Florida. That's what they was offering. That was me living in Florida. They wanted to pay me forty two cents a mile. And then they wouldn't tell you how much. I can remember. They they wouldn't tell you how much they would pay if they, you stayed up in if Ohio. You, if you they, they they basically stated if you were willing to move to one of our higher frequency areas. Uh-huh. We could probably pay you an extra six to seven cents a mile. But they wouldn't tell you specifically. Like, they wouldn't tell I said, would you pay for me to move? Nope. <laughs> I'm like, I'm willing to, I mean, and, and, I, and I know where rail runs a lot. They run a lot in Texas. Mm-hmm. I'm willing to move to Texas. I'm willing to move to Tennessee. There's a few other certain states I'd be willing to move to. But when she's like, yeah, we, she couldn't even match what I was making. Why would I take a five plus cent pay cut? I was making 52 at Lester's. They wanted all in refrigerated. They, they wanted you to come there and take a, take a hit. And they wanted then, me to take a big hit because because you know, flatbed. I mean, yeah, you you get in and out real quick. But I talked to some of their drivers. They're like, yeah, our average length of haul is like five, six hundred miles. I'm like, that's boring. Wow. So that's, it's like, I mean, like crazy. I said, I, I've been, I, I did drive in. I did dedicated for Maxwell House. Uh, home every day. I made, I made okay money being home every day. If you did that, Six why? Years why, ago. why? If you did that, why you? Why you jump back over? I mean, OTR. Because they tried killing you. Oh, okay. We were set. Yeah, it's always we, we work. Were set it's, it's always twelve. Yeah, it's always work involved. Oh, when you doing dedicated. Yeah, we we were. Uh, I worked for a carrier out of Jacksonville, and, and there's. They're, they're a good carrier, but the Maxwell House dedicated account was, you, you never left Jacksonville. You basically were the supply chain runner for Maxwell House Coffee. Mm-hmm. You were guaranteed, I think it was 1100 a week before tax. Now, the advantage is you're home every day, but you're working 512 from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. You had to wear pants because it was policy at Maxwell House. Mm-hmm. Even if you never went into the facility, you had to wear pants. So 12-hour days, and they would expect you to do 20 stops, 20 drop and hooks a day. Yeah, and that was, that was going out to the port. That was going to the silo cleaners. I was dropping at the warehouse, dropping at the roaster, picking up pallets for um, doing everything. We had to, we had to average out about they wanted us to average out twenty drops a day, and we would. I mean, the worst thing was if you got stuck on the port runs, you'd spend an hour and a half, two hours at the port, and a cramped little day cap. 
So back over. Uh, I just got. I just got tired of it. I just got tired of being up, getting up at four thirty every morning, not seeing the house till seven thirty at night due to traffic. Get home, get something to eat, take a shower, go to bed, get up again four a.m. the next morning. Washing we went. So back over here to Hirschbach, man. You 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 enjoying yourself? You you making money? You getting home? And uh, and that's everything. That's that with uh with Hirschbach. Um, you of course you still you 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 get uh as I said before, you you do get a referral bonus for referring people in there. Yeah. So uh, go ahead and uh drop your name. Uh, you know, drop your well, drop your information. Uh, just test. All you have well, to do is test it to me, and I'll <clears throat> I'll put it in the uh I'll put it in the in the description for you, so that yeah. when people you know if when people hear this right. uh, podcast and they get interested because now it looked like Hirschbach has is since with the acquisition of Lessers look like they did a whole three sixty. They you know? they 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 have done. A lot of changes over the last year. Um, and like I said, we have almost all brand new equipment. I, I, I said I'm sitting in a 2022 Cascadia. I got heated and cooled seat. They put a refrigerator. They put a 24 inch TV. They give us satellite radio. You pay five bucks a week and you get unlimited 5G or 4G Wi Fi, which I use heavily and they don't they don't limit it they, they they'll hand you the the direct tv system to carry in the truck it's like 40 bucks a month you set it up on your own um i mean anytime like i said anytime i have an issue or a question it's hey which department i have a list of phone numbers i can call and within a couple of minutes i have my answer that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Hirschbach, the new Hirschbach. Well, there you the have new it. Hirschbach. There you have it, man. Well, thank you very much for coming on, bro, and um and uh chopping it up with me, man. Awesome conversation. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for sharing uh you know, sharing your experience with us, man. Uh and definitely let us know about the new Hirschbach, you know. Um again. You know, like I said, just uh, send me your information and all like that. I'll put it in the description. So when somebody calls up there, they can use you for a reference, man. Uh, yeah. And you brought up our lease purchase program a little bit. It's 700 and something dollars a week for the truck. Mm -hmm. And most drivers, fixed cost is about, about $1,100 a week. I mean... I've talked to a lot of our lease guys, and they're happy. That's what's up. Uh, man. Ninety-nine what's cents up? a gallon for diesel. They pay they pay a dollar a gallon for their diesel. Yeah, instead of that three dollars shit, because we we get we, yeah, we get like, great. Like right here, right here, it's three seventy. I think three sixty something right here in uh in uh Nana, in Memphis. <sighs> That's crazy. And we sit in. All right, brother man. What well, thank you. Like three three eighty four a gallon. Three eighty four a gallon in Memphis, Indiana. Well, all right, brother <laughs> man. Well, thanks a lot for coming on, man. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you stay safe out there. You are a citizen now, so if there's any other, you know, any other changes or anything that you want to bring back to the fold on or I mean on the uh damn it man. On the um on the record or off the record, man, you can get in contact with me and holler at me, bro. All right, man. All right, man. You take it easy. Hey, you stay safe out there, man. And don't forget you too, to man. don't forget to send your information over so I can uh put that into the uh description. Stand for. All right, man. Stay safe, man. Get some sleep. You too, man. Later. All right now.